Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. All right, so here he is representing the American Kickboxing Academy, San Jose, California, a man who I believe is the most dominant force in the game at present, UFC lightweight champion, Khabib Nurmagomedov. You know, for Khabib Nurmagomedov, he's the guy that has dominated every person that he's faced inside the octagon. He has a great Sambo background, but it's all the takedowns that he mixes well together that allows him to gain top position, and when he's on top, his ground control is second to none. He can move from position to position seamlessly. And when he's on top, he's constantly doing damage. It's the ground and pound of Habib Nurmagomedov that is his biggest and best attribute. And what's crazy to me is to hear you tell stories about him in training, oh. that we haven't even seen the tip of the iceberg when it John, comes to what he can do in the octagon. J.A., I don't believe that we have seen the finished version. I think when he's in the octagon, He's fighting at about 75% of what I see on a daily basis at the gym. Well, history is going to look back fondly on Khabib Nurmagomedov, but every time he competes, he puts his status as one of the greatest fighters of all time on the line, and that status, of course, on the line yet again here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Lights out! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, Nurmagomedov! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? All right, so here we go. This highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. Right. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchanges. That's a good strike there by Nurmago Meadow. Right hand. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Comes in close, controls his opponent's posture, and lands his nasty. Continues to eat power shots here. 
All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Big power shot there. And they separate. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Nice punch lands over the top. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. And they separate. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And Habib lands early and he lands off. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Three minutes now to go in this one. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? the elbow up into the target. Single collar tie now. And both guys really throwing with authority. And he landed the right hand there. Good right hand from the top. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that offering. Hands high, hands high. Nice punch there. Two minutes remain in the round. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Now connects with a right. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Nurmagomedov gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. Slips the punch. Got clipped with the right hand. Gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. 45 seconds to go here in round one. And they separate. The next with a right. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Straight to the body by Nermago Meta. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Got the single collar tie. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Back and forth we go! Oh, that left hand is on point. Just misses with the straight right. There's the horn, and what a round it was. DC take us through the replays. Punch after punch. He landed him at will. He went right at his opponent, got in his face, and showed this is my octagon. We are going to dance to the beat of my two. All right, round two is now upon us. Pretty competitive first five minutes, I thought. It's exactly what we expected. We expected, we saw this on the match sheet, that these two guys were evenly matched. Let's see who really takes control as we go into the second round. And they separate. 
Good stick. Nurmagomedov gets hit by that kick to the body. Oh, nice land there by Nurmagomedov. When he made his UFC debut in 2012, he wasn't striking like that. No, he did not look like this. That's a credit to his coaches, not only at the American Kickboxing Academy, but at Eagles MMA over in Dagestan. Oh, that left hand is money tonight. Nurmagomedov's uppercut is blocked. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. I have a novel idea. Maybe the opponent should try to check one of these. He's got to try to check him, but he can't, John, because there's no wind-up. Yeah. There's no tell. And when he feels his opponent is getting a beat on his leg kick, he'll just pop a jab up, get the hands up to block the face, blast the leg kick on the bottom. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that is so diverse yeah. and has such a great understanding of landing these leg kicks. Oh, nice land with the knee. You see the taller fighter having no issue getting the limb to the target there. Oh, nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission accomplished. <laughs> you are battering that dude. He's got to be careful dipping his head as he's throwing that jab. Back and forth we go here. Well, not much set up behind it. The right hook misses. Relax. Nice connection with a punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Oh, and he lands yet another flush knee. That's going to leave a mark. And again, when we're using this length as effectively as he is here tonight, we might get a finish here in the not-too-distant future. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. 73 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Well, not this fighter's most accurate effort to date necessarily, DC, landing with 33% accuracy here against Khabib Nurmagomedov. Big knee lands right to his opponent's midsection. Shot is blocked there by Nurmagomedov. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body eventually him switch it up for the big knee to the head. Nice defense there, huge block. Oh, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach and he made good use of it there. Big punch. Oh, and he finally gets the takedown now. So what do they say? Try, try again. And now he has a headlock trying to pin his opponent's back down flat onto the mat. Look from the transition to an arm triangle to try to chase the finish. He needs to push the arm to the side. Get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest go to the mat. He goes flat, all weight. And yeah, this might it. just be a matter of time. Wow. All right, right into side control. Up the body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you got to look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine. He jumps on a headlock. We call this in wrestling just a headlock. And if you're not careful, you can get stuck in an arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle. There he is. He's moving to the finishing position. Now watch, he goes parallel right next to his opponent. When it's time to finish. And he's out. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. Right. Very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities.
for you to either escape or sweep. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC. What a display of just sheer punching in that last round. I mean, he looks like a boxer. He looks like a professional boxer out there throwing and stringing those combinations together. He landed those big punches over and over again, and ready? it was this one right here that really did change the tide of the round. Oh, and he connects with a the punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch, I just put a smile on my face. It's such a fast leg kick. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Oh, lands a left punch there, and a lot of it's set up by good footwork. Really great footwork and setting traps so that he can land that beautiful left hand. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Knee to the body now. That one appeared to be blocked, though, by Nurmagomedov. Slips the punch. Big punch lands through the middle. Well, Javier Mendez, Tony Johnson, all the guys at AKA got to like what they're seeing out of Khabib Nurmagomedov striking here early, you see. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you're looking for. It's almost like he can telegraph when the punch is coming, and when he sees it, he just makes a slight little movement, right or left, to get out of the way and avoid those shots. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Engages in the single collar tie, leading over the left eye now. Nurmagomedov's uppercut to the head. That one, though, blocked by the defense. Oh! Huge right hand! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, straight right! Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy. Oh, and that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break him? We have just reached the midway point of the fight. Nurmagomedov's trying to lock up on a submission now. Attacking Orban. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Now he falls back into the finishing position. it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. So a seminal moment for this fighter here tonight as he gets the win by submission. Huge victory in his career. And it'll be very interesting to see how they match make him moving forward. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee Eve Levine has called a stop to stop this contest. At two minutes, 58 seconds of round number three. For the winner by submission, Habib the Eagle Nevada. Well, what an incredible result here tonight as you see the winner there celebrating his victory by way of submission. And they put so much stock into finishing this fight. They felt like to really spin his career forward, they needed to not just win but get the finish, and they certainly got it to me. They got the finish. He's such a terrific grappler. Every time he is on his back,
he looks for submissions over and over again. Eventually, he found one tonight and got the desired result. 